RPA refers to the automation of repeatable and rule-based tasks using a software which is installed on a user's computer called Robot or simply a bot. The bot is programmed to perform the sequence of steps that a human user does and it is all done on the front end of the application just like a human user would do, unlike traditional automation solutions where coding is done in the back end. In other words, it is not integrated to any of the applications, rather the bot works on these applications itself. For example, let's say we have a user whose day in day out job is to download some PDF files from different web applications and email these files to various users or teams based on certain business rules. The bot can be trained to do exactly the same where the bot launches the application, logs in with its credentials, searches the PDF file, downloads them by clicking the save button and then use Outlook to send emails. Now all these are done on the front end just like a human user would do. In fact, when you run the bot, you can actually see these applications being launched and the fields getting populated. Now let's talk about some of the advantages of RPA. Obviously, the biggest advantage is that when RPA is implemented, human users no more have to do repetitive, mundane and boring tasks. Rather, they can focus more on tasks that require creativity, decision making and judgment. With RPA, you can use your existing IT infrastructure without making any changes to the current systems and databases. Robots can work 24 bar 7 and they don't take time offs or sick days. Bots can work across multiple platforms like Windows, web applications, Java and mainframe applications. One bot can be trained to do more than one process at different schedules. For example, let's say you implement a robot for the HR department, it can send interview invites from 9am to 12pm and process employee requests like HR letter requests from 12pm to 5pm. You can also use the same robot to work for other departments like finance or IT as long as your firm's policy allows you to do so and you put in the right security measures. Finally, RPA can improve efficiency and accuracy as human errors are avoided. Now let's see what the limitations of RPA are. The average handling time of the bot is limited to the performance of the application and infrastructure. So it is not always true that the bot can work faster than a human being. For example, in our previous scenario, if the download speed of the PDF file is slow due to some network bandwidth issues, then there is nothing that the bot can do to make it faster because as I mentioned, the bot is going to use the same front end of the application to download the files. So it is going to take as long as it takes for a human user. Bots cannot take decisions and judge on situations and bots cannot be creative. So those tasks which require judgments and creativity cannot be automated. Finally, if there is a change to the application's interface, then the bot has to be reconfigured. For example, let's say the bot has to click a button called save to download a document. If the application team changes the button's label to something else like download or finish, or even if they change the position of the button, then the bot has to be reconfigured to identify that button. Now all that being said, I don't want to bore you anymore with theories about RPA. Let's get started with Blue Prism.